Hi all, this is a bonus video. I had a request to go over how to do least common multiples, and I admit they are kind of tricky. So let's give them a try. I picked a couple out of your homework problems, so and a couple and one other one too. So let's get started. The first one is from lesson 31, number 11. And we are to find the least common multiple of the numbers 14, 94, and 300. So basically what you're finding is the number that all three of these will divide into evenly. And not just any number, but the smallest number that all three of these can divide into evenly. Now the easiest way to do this, if it were numbers like 2, 3, and 4, and we had to find the least common multiple of these numbers, we can kind of do those in our head. We're like, what number does 2, 3, and 4 all divide into? And we can kind of just think it through and come up with 12. So, I don't think you can see that, 12. So 2, 3, and 4 all go into 12. That's the smallest number that they all go into evenly. Now when it comes to these bigger numbers, like 14, 94, and 300, you can't just look at it and figure it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the trees, or we're going to prime factor it, or do your division, however you do prime factorization. We're going to prime factor these numbers. So I did 14, which is 2 and 7. 94 is 2 and 47. 47 is prime. If you would add 4 and 7, you get 11. If it would add up to 12, you would have known that it was divisible by 3. But this is a prime number. And then our last number is 300. So a little bit bigger, so 2, 150, 2, 75, and then 3, 25. Okay, I haven't taught you this method before, but I think it's it'll help you maybe. Let's write them with exponents. So 14 is going to be 2 times 7. 94 is 2 times 47. And 300 is 2 squared times, whoops, I didn't finish this one, did I? 5 times 5. So it's going to be 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared. Now you're going to take the highest exponent on the 2, and that's going to be your first number you're going to put in your least common multiple. So your least common multiple is going to be the highest exponent on the 2's, which would be 2 squared. So then I'm going to cross all the 2's out. You're going to take the highest exponent so that they're all included in the least common multiple. Okay, the next number would be a 3. So we put a 3 down here. Um, there's no other 3's in any other number. Then we have the 5 squared. There's no other 5, so we're not going to cross them out. I cross them out so we make sure we don't miss anything. Then we have a 7. And then finally, this big 47 is in our least common multiple, which makes our number really big. So our number is going to be 141. It's 14,100 if you multiply all that out. This is the smallest number that 14, 94, and 300 divide into. So let's try another one. This is actually number 12. You didn't have to do this one, but I'll use it for example. So lesson 30, um, let's see, lesson 31, I do believe it's number 12. So here we go, we have numbers 27, 66, and 90, and we want to find the least common multiple. So you can't really look at that and say, oh, they're all going to go into whatever. You need to do the factor trees, put them in prime factor each of the numbers. So we have 3 times 9 and 3 times 3. So this one's going to be 3 cubed. Let's do our 66. 66 is 2 times 20, 33. And then it's going to be um, 3 times 11. And then 90 is going to be 2 times 45, 3 times 15, and then 3 times 5. So this one would be 2 times 3 times 11. And the final one is going to be 2 times 3 squared times 5. So hopefully we got all those numbers in. Now to do your least common multiple, we want to take the highest exponent on each one of them. 
So least common multiple is going to be the highest exponent. So we look at our threes. We have a three cubed, a three, a three squared. The highest exponent would be three cubed. Cross out all the threes. Oops, I forgot the twos. The highest exponent on the twos is just two. So cross out our twos. And then we have a five, no other five. So we just cross out this five and then we have an 11. So if we multiply those all together, we get, let me just do it, do it real quick, 27 times two times five times 11 is going to be 2000, let me scroll this down a little bit, is 2000, 970. And you can always check it out if you wanted to do long division, but you probably don't want to. But 2970 is divisible by 90. It is divisible by 66 and 27. So our least common multiple is 2970. All right, let's do one more. So we want to find this is from lesson. 32, number 12. We want to find the least common multiple of 200, 120, and 180. So here we go. So we take our 200, which is 2 times 100, and then 2 times 50. I'm going to run out of room for this one. 2 times 25, and 5 times 5. So if we write the prime with exponents, we're going to get 2 cubed times five squared. All right, so that's this one. Let's do 120. 120 is two times 60, two times 30, and two times 15, and then three times five. These are bigger numbers. Okay, so let's write those as with exponents. So we're gonna get two cubed times three, times 5. All right, the last one is 180, and that's going to be 2 times 90, 2 times 45, 3 times 15, 3 times 5. If we write it with exponents, it's going to be 2 squared times 3, 3, let's see, 3 squared, times 5. All right, so we wrote these with, with exponents. Now we're going to take the highest exponent on each one of them. So let's visit the 2's. We have a 2 cubed, a 2 squared, a 2 squared. So we're going to take the highest, which would be 2 cubed. So we'll cross these out. All the 2's, we took the highest. Let's go to the 3's. We have a 3 squared. We have a 3 and a 3 squared. We're going to take the highest. So we're going to take the 3 squared. And then we go to fives. This one's five to the first power, five to the first, five to the second. So the highest would be five squared. We're going to cross those out and we'll multiply all this out. So eight times nine times 25 is 1,800. And you can just double check and make sure that they all go into it. I mean, you don't have to do that because that's a lot of work, but I'm going to do it with a calculator just to double check. And they all go into it um, evenly. So this is our least common multiple is 1,000. Let me not write it like that. Our least common multiple is 1,800. So hopefully that helps you to understand how to do least common multiples.